What's up guys, Ian here, Coach of your Lightning Lantern, bringing you guys our week 16 builder, taking on Slade and the Mobile Bewares. Uh, he's a week behind, but that's okay. Um, we're in a reasonable spot now, we're on a two game winning streak, so I'm starting to feel good about the team after making trades. Uh, Slade's team consists of Excadrill, Barrascuta, Halucha, Pel Pelipper, Galvantula, Gigalith, Indeedee, Ninetales, Shiftry, Scorch, and Galarian Rapidash. He has priority options in the Galvantula with Sucker Punch and Shiftry with Sucker Punch. Hazard setting in the Excadrill with Rocks, Galvantula with Webs, and Gigalith with Rocks. Removal options is the Excadrill with Rapid Spin, and then I'm not sure if anything retained Defog, but Pelipper, Shiftry, and Halucha all with Defog, supposedly. Four times weaknesses, Pelipper to Electric, Shiftry to Bug, and Scorch to Rock. I could see absolutely anything coming against me. My team is pretty meh compared to this one, uh, especially Pelly Barrascuta and Gigalith Excadrill, just really powerful Pokemon. Um, Halucha, even without terrain, is insane, but there's a terrain setter here in the Ndidi, so um, yeah, it's going to get a little bit wild. Um, I'm not super confident in this matchup, but there's like three different weathers, webs, and then psychic terrain Halucha, so speed control is pretty irrelevant for the most part. Um, there's not a ton of bulk. Most of this team is fairly squishy, so that's something that I can maybe potentially capitalize on by running a little bit more bulk on my end. Uh, first up on my side here is Orbeetle. I'm running webs to counter webs, um, or if he doesn't even bring Galvantula, then me getting webs up is perfect. There's nothing off the top of my head that could use webs against me, so um, yeah, nothing like Defiant. No Defiant users on that side. So webs are pretty good here. It's the first time I'm bringing webs all season, I think, actually. Uh, Psychic, just to hit whatever I can really hard. Um, it's like the best move to hit Halucha, for example. And then Bug Buzz um, is just neutral damage. This is my Excadrill check, but I can't touch it because I'm an Orbeetle and I don't have access to hidden power. So uh, yeah, recovers the last move there. This is, again, it's 100% the Excadrill check. Um, even if I only get chip on it and I stall out a bunch of sand turns, that's fine. Wow, excuse me. Um, I can also check Barrascuta, but probably not in rain. I'm also running physically defensive Togekiss. Um, this can take on Shiftry really well, which is a good thing. It can also take on Halucha really well, which I think is the biggest thing for me. Um, Sentiscorch potentially as well, but mainly those two with Wish Protect, Air Slash, or Sphere. Morning Sun is irrelevant when Sand and Rain are potential options, and I think given that I have an Arcanine, Sun is probably not going to come, but... Um, if I had to, if I, if I have to, I can just switch into Arcanine anyways, but, uh, yeah, just a dual, like, not dual stab, but Air Slash plus Aura Sphere hits everything, um, just fine, so I'm okay with this. And then I'm, again, I'm physically defensive, so this could also be a Galarian Rapidash check, um, although Orbeetle does that a little bit better. Pillowswine is more of an offensive Pillowswine, but it's got a Violet, so, you know, can take hits, um, kind of well. I'm actually really weak to Pelipper looking at it, and... I don't really have a way around that. I could have brought, like... Uh, I could replace something for, like, Spideff, Cursula. Wouldn't be a bad Galvantula check either, necessarily. I, I don't know what, what I would replace for Cursula um, outside of Pillowswine, but Pillowswine actually is offensively just better than Cursula in this matchup. So I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I'd replace Arcanine? If I really don't think that Sun is coming, then I could replace this Arcanine, which is pretty useless. I think I'm going to do that. I'll pop in Cursula. And we'll make it Parish Body. We'll give it Leftovers. And we'll make it Spideff. Calm. Shadow Ball. Stealth Rock. Well, I don't really need rocks on this, because Billswine has rocks. But, uh... Giga Drain sounds fine. I mean, Ice Beam for like Shift Tree. Catching the Shift Tree is good. Uh, does it get rest? Oh, it does get rest. Hmm. All right. Well, Spideff Cursula. I'm going to toy with this later. Um, figuring out the rest of the set because I'm not sure if rest is actually applicable or not. Um, rest may not be legal. Rest talk uh, might be post home moves, so I'll deal with that later. But uh, Conk, I'm bringing a an offensive Conk. I'm actually speed creeping, um, no speed Pelipper with this. Uh, so I'll, I'll be able to outspeed Pelipper 
and move on with my life. And that'll be that. Uh, pretty much, that's where I'm going with this. Where I don't remember where else I was going with this. But yeah, uh, Conk Speed Creeps the, uh, the Pelipper, and I'm running Adamant Thunder Punch. So, should be doing quite a bit of damage to that. Rock Slide is there for Scorch if I needed it. Because um, it'll resist Drain Punch. And then Drain Punch hits everything else on the team. Honestly, like Thunder Punch is there for Halucha and Pelipper. Uh, Drain Punch hits everything else just fine. Realistically, the Glarian Rapidash might be a switch into this, but I don't really see Glarian Rapidash coming. And then I've got Mock Punch in the back to pick off Shift Tree, Excadrill, uh, Barrascuta, you name it. That's what Conk's job is this week. And then last but not least is Mimikyu. Oh, apologies about the yawns, as per usual. I'm running red card Mimikyu just in case something gets out of hand. Um, or if it's not Moldbreaker Excadrill or Moldbreaker Halucha, then I can phase them if in a pinch if I really need to. Um, SD player of Shadow Sneak, Shadow Claw, pretty basic stuff. Uh, this team is really fast. Like, Slade's team is really fast. For Galar decks, there's a lot of this team is over base 100, which is really scary, actually. Um, I'm actually speed creeping in DD, max speed in DD. I don't know which gender it is, but one of them hit, has base 95 speed. So that's what I'm speed creeping uh, for player off shenanigans, because obviously Shadow Claw and whatnot is not going to hit it very well. But Shadow Claw would be fine against Excadrill. I could probably have run a little bit more of a utility Mimikyu, but then I feel like maybe I'm on the back foot the entire time, which I already am in this matchup, to be fair. But um, we'll sort of see how it goes. So again, I'll, I'll deal with the curse a little later. In terms of what I'm not bringing, you guys already saw that I wanted to bring Arcanine. Weavile is not coming uh, because this team's so f uh, so fast. I didn't want to try and bring Weavile against it. It's just it doesn't have um, what I need against Gigalith. Quillfish, same sort of thing. It's just fodder for Excadrill and, and Gigalith anyways. Uh, Flapple is just fodder for this entire team. There's no chance in hell Flapple has um, coming to this matchup. And then Raichu could have been okay as a little bit better of a Pelipper check. And maybe it's just like a Scarfer, but um, Excadrill also there, so... That's the team. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys for the match against Slade and the Mobile Viewers.